Hey everybody, my name is Lukia Mwate and we are in Bantama, Kumasi, Ghana. And today we have a sanitation day and we are cleaning all of um, the gutters and the streets of Bantama today. And we are also trying to educate the public about good hygiene and proper sanitation disposals. Ghana is filthy. It's, um, uh, they are swimming in, in filth. They live in filth. It's everywhere. It's in the schools, it's around the church, it's around the hospitals. It's nothing that you cannot um, ignore anymore. It's not something you cannot ignore anymore. It has to be tackled. And for me, what I can do is to organize my community to take leadership in the sanitation program um, and see how we can get um, the rest of the country to come on board. We can't live like this anymore. I'm Kapna Safwa and I belong to Kedja platform and we donated money to Luki for why he's engaged in like humanitarian purposes and you know the clean up is like giving back to the society. Uh, today we are here to uh, support her for the clean up exercise. In our own initiative, in our own willing way, we're trying to, we, we don't have to wait for, because the, the government doesn't come here, so like, we, are, we are trying to help up clean up this place and keep our environment clean and, you know, safe from mosquitoes and, you know, all sort of, a whole lot. Ghana have an open sewage system. And so the idea is when it gets filled up, it can be cleaned easily so that water can go through. However, nobody cleans it up. And so it accumulates, and that's where the um, malaria um, uh, mosquitoes get breed. And so it's important that we clean them up so the water can pass through easily and it doesn't become constant uh, and um, breed mosquitoes. And you see the area is very dirty, so you have to clean it. You have to clean the area. The people in the area, the people in the area, they're the community. Typically, when the wind blows in Ghana, you lift up your eye and there's plastic swimming in the air, as if there's birds flying in the air. There is um, choked gutters, breeding mosquitoes. Malaria is almost an epidemic in Ghana. And so uh, it's, it's a very serious issue. It's gone on forever. It's gone on forever, but it cannot go on anymore. Somebody have to take leadership and somebody have to tell the people you cannot create filth, live in it, die from it, and continue to expect change. Nothing's gonna happen unless the people learn the proper way of disposing filth and they also learn proper hygiene. It has to be taught to people. It's not part of the culture. There is allegedly a company that's supposed to clean the streets and they come and clean and they don't even have a proper way of disposing on um, the trash. So it's really um, almost as if um, they are um, walking backwards on the treadmill, in my opinion. And so um, individuals have to take um, responsibility now. They themselves have to manage their trash. Yes, I said,
Uh, my name is Isaac Ousu. I'm a financial service supervisor for, 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 for Beige Bank. Uh, we are here for a communal day, but I think we had a letter from the chief that today we need to come here and do some communal labor. So as page, we don't have to also sit down where we do our business. We need to come and put hands together so that our community will be clean. And if the community is clean, the customers, everybody will also be healthy to come to banking hall to do business with us. So that is why we are here today. We are all here to do the same way. Because we want the environment to be okay. It should be a conducive area that everybody can stay. Because if we have an unhealthy environment, I think uh, there are a lot of diseases that can affect you, all of us. So if we come together and we do the work together, I believe that it will help us to clean ourselves well. We're having some challenges of vehicles, the cars that will be picking the, 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 the refuse, but now everything is okay. So uh, we believe that maybe they, they, they will organize such things so that uh, our community will be okay for us. For today, I solicited help from my friends. I asked the community to participate. I also contacted the, um, the chief of Bantama, Bafo um, Osu Amangretia, and I asked for his cooperation, and he's given it, and he's given um, authority, and asked the community to participate every first Saturday of the month, and also bi-weekly. The problem is so big that we should probably be pushing for weekly cleaning, but for now, we're just gonna do bi-weekly and every first Saturday of the month. So some of my friends um, have a platform on the WhatsApp social media, and it's called the Sikedra platform. Um, they do, um, do community service as well, and I ask them to provide um, trash cans, and so they have, and it says um, donated by Sikedra platform here. Um, they are all over the um, United States, the UK, and a part of Europe. And they understand, they understand the importance of good hygiene and sanitation. So they've contributed and I, myself, I have contributed to make it possible. And what we are doing is we are depositing these along the main street, giving people a place to dispose of trash when they make it. Also, we purchased these here at a local vendor and um, we made the stickers, um, a friend of mine made the stickers and so um, we bought it locally. However, um, there is a manufacturer somewhere in Accra who makes them too. I don't know why, I don't know why people can live like this, knowing everything that we know about the importance of healthy, hygienic, sanitation, um, um, lifestyle knowing how it can eradicate diseases like malaria, cholera, and everything else that come with it. So for me, I'm baffled as to why people continue to live like this. I don't know where to lay the blame. Is it that the people haven't heard that if they live a clean life, it will cause them to have a better health? Um, and I, I, I'm just frustrated. I don't even know how to answer that question other than maybe they just don't know and somebody have to tell them. We need to be clean even though we sin it. Leading us as next to godliness. We need to be clean even though we sin it. Leading us as next to godliness. We need to be clean even though we sin it. Leading us as next to godliness. We need to be clean even though we sin it. Leading us as next to godliness. We need to be clean even though we sin it. Leading us as next to godliness. We need to be clean even though we sin it.